Hello there, can everybody hear me? Let me know if you can hear me and see this line. We're gonna get going here. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Nice to see everyone here today. Thank you for coming. Can you see the arrow? Great. Well, welcome today. Today we're going to talk about how you can earn a living day trading. Some of you might be day trading right now. Some of you might be considering getting into day trading. Really, when you're day trading, this isn't investing. <coughs> Excuse me. It's about, I call it chunking it out. You chunk it, chunk it, chunk it, okay? So you're going into the market and you're taking money in quick moves. Couple of minutes, you could say an hour. Some trades you can hold longer, but usually we're looking to get in and out very quick between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time, okay? And Kathy's writing in the room. If anyone has any questions, <clears throat> you can just write in the room and I will answer the question as we go along today. I will say the question out loud, okay? Anyways, you can watch me on Fox Business, Fox News. I also appear on CBS and some other channels too. I talk about the market. And if you have any questions after we're done today, you can always reach out, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. <coughs> Excuse me, or call me at 929-3200 GAP. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So again, how many people here are trading? Are you actively trading? And if you are, do you know how to trade? I'm ever amazed how many people actually trade the market and risk money and don't know what to do. One of the things that's very, very important is you must have a strategy if you want to make money in the market. Now, you say, well, what do you mean a strategy? I mean something that you consistently do, that you replicate, which is the reason that you take the trade over and over and over again. And it has to be the same thing, meaning you have to be consistent, okay? <laughs> so you say, well, some days I'm buying support, some days I'm shorting resistance. Well, that really is not a strategy. That's number one. And number two, that's not doing the same thing consistently, okay? Consistency means boom, 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 boom. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I even mean consistently in the time of the day. Time of the day, time of the day strategy, the amount of risk you're taking, dollars and cents, okay? All of that is very important to be successful. So what do I focus on? I focus on gaps. Gaps happen every day in the market. Now what is a gap? And this is a very brief explanation for those of you who don't know it and have never heard of a gap. And this is a review if you have. A gap is a difference between the close and the open. So the close of this day whatever, this is at four o'clock Eastern time, the market closes every day, then it opens the next morning at 9.30 a.m. So what happened here? We closed at one price and opened at a different price. We closed here, opened down. So based on that, okay, closing here, opening down here, there's a gap down, okay? So there's a gap down in the market. This was the spy that happened from Friday to Monday. There are gap ups, there are gap downs, okay? So what I look to do is I look every morning in the pre-market and I'm trying to find the gap. The gap, the one gap that I wanna play. Now there might be two, okay? Sometimes we do three trades or three ticker symbols, but that's a lot. I'm usually focused on one or two and I'm usually focused on that period of time between 9.30 and 10. I get this question a lot before we get into some more charts here. Can I do this if I am new, if I've never traded before? I get that question all the time. The answer is yes. You do not have to be proficient in day trading or have experience in order to be successful doing this. In fact, I think it's more beneficial maybe to some people if you've never traded before. Because if you come and learn what I know right out of the gate, you're going to focus on the information that I'm telling you instead of actually focusing on things that don't work. A lot of traders have bad habits. They have learned things that don't work and will never work and they've lost money and they have a hard time letting go of those behaviors, those patterns, and not only that, those belief systems, okay? So don't be afraid if you're new. If you're new, that's actually really a good thing, okay? So don't worry about that. But getting back to what I was saying, a strategy is very important. Very, 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 very important. It's important for you to make money, okay? You have to be consistent. This isn't gambling. If you want to gamble, you go to Atlantic City, okay? Trading is something you have to take seriously. And I'm not saying 
I'm not saying this is where you're going to sit at your computer from 9.30 to 4. Again, we're looking at just training the first half an hour, first hour. But serious means in the time that you're doing it, you're serious. Whether it's for five minutes or five hours, you got to take it seriously, okay? And again, the consistency. So we're going to go over some trades here, some recent trades. But 2019 has been a very, very good year for my live trading run. I mean, I'm just calling great trade after great trade after great trade. And so I tend to look at many, many things in the morning, and then I will pick out the good things to call in the live trading room in the room. I also have an options letter, which I will go over one of those trades in here now as well. But if you want to join the live trading room, you must take my class, okay? Learn the system, learn the strategy, and then you take the live trades that I call. So again, how do you make money in the market? What do you need? What do you need to be successful? You need a strategy that has a high win ratio. You need a mentor, someone like me that calls the trades live, <coughs> excuse me, in live time so you can take them, okay? And number three, you also need motivation. Motivation to do what? To be successful, that you want to learn it, that you want to do it, that you want to take it successfully, that you want the money. Well, everyone says, well, I want the money, I want the money. Of course I want the money. Yeah, but what are you willing to do to get that money? Are you willing to spend a whole weekend studying in and, and, and a class like mine? Are you willing to spend you know, a Friday night going over your charts? Are you willing to go through the emotional process of, 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 of just learning something new? You know, a lot of the people that I teach, you know, are, are, are over the age of 40, okay? Sometimes people say, well, I don't wanna learn something new, you know, I don't feel like I should have to. It is like going back to school when you are learning something that you don't understand and you never did before, okay? And even if you traded in the past, gaps or the way that I look at gaps is new to many, many, many people, okay? Because no one looks at gaps the way that I do. A lot of people talk about gap fills, that stuff doesn't work, okay? So you have to open up your mind and be motivated enough to do it, to really learn, okay? Any questions here so far? Anyways, day trading is a great job. It's a great job because you can be anywhere in the world and do it, okay? All you need is a computer and to do it from home and you will be set, all right? Open up a trading account, get your live charts going, and again, learn a system like mine and you can be anywhere in the world. You don't have to live in New York. You don't have to go down to Wall Street to trade, okay? So times are very different right now. We live in a world of electronic trading. So if you can take the time to block out in your schedule between 9.30 and 10 a.m. to trade, okay? That is the time that you'd wanna be able to do this system, my system. The trades go very quickly. They set up fast, which the benefit is also you can get out quickly too. And the nice thing about day trading is you can work from home, as I already said. Now, some people want to do this on the side for extra money. Some people want to do it for a career. Either way, I do think it's important to know your goal. I do think it's important to know what your reason is for doing this. How much money do you want to make a day? How much money do you want to make a week? How much money do you want to make a year? If you really want to do this for a career and you, need, you know what that amount of money is that you need to support yourself if that is your job, then you have to start from where you're at now and how you're going to get to that place, okay? You set your goals. So it's all really about focus, keeping the focus in sight of what you want to achieve. So for me, I'm very focused each morning on reading the gaps. And what am I looking for? I'm looking for institutional money and price patterns in gaps. And if you look at that and you focus on that, you really don't need to do anything else, okay? It is really literally about looking for institutional buying and selling. So when I'm looking for the selling, we're shorting, okay? When we're looking for the buying, we're going long. Now I do tend to, for those of you that, that aren't familiar with me, I do tend to go to the short side first because I think that it's fun to short. Stocks tend to drop much, much quicker and faster than they do rally. So I prefer to short, okay? But that's a personal preference. You can make money going long and there are times we go long in the room, all right? But anyways, I read price. Don't trade based on news. I read price action. And I read price action and gaps. So I see movements ahead of time in charts that gap, and it's called price forecasting. Now, what is price forecasting? It's a use of historic data to determine the direction of future trends. So I'm usually not trading, for the most part, new issues, something like Uber that just came out. 
I'm really not trading something like that. It doesn't have enough data for me, okay? I wanna see a history in something. I wanna see what institutions are buying with it. I wanna see a history in a chart when I'm doing it. So again, you have to be able to set up day charts and that's where I'm looking at the gaps. I'm seeing where the institutions are buying or selling. When I say institutions, I mean big banks, I mean hedge funds, I mean, you know, big, big traders, okay? That's what I mean. People that could actually move a stock or move the market, like when they get in, you can see it. Like, like you can't see individual trades the same way in many of the stocks that we trade that have millions and millions of shares, okay? If you took a trade in Apple, you're not gonna move it, but a bank might, okay? So you see here, that's the difference and that's what I'm looking at. And I'm looking at it in the gap, okay? So this is what I teach people. And it's very, very important, I believe, this is my belief system, and it was ever since I started trading. I took one class when I started out trading before I decided to develop my own system. Education is important. Now, I didn't learn how to make money in that class, but I did learn a basic foundation for technical analysis, and that helped me to develop the gap system that I have right now. So that was important, because if I hadn't had that initial foundation, I would have been lost in my trading. When you, when you see news events and things that happen, sometimes they support the price action. But for the most part, usually what happens or the reaction that's happening in the stock of the market is happening before you hear what the news is, okay? So that's one of the reasons I think that price and technical analysis is so much more important than fundamentals or news or any of those other things, okay? And again, education is important if you want to make money and succeed, not if you want to just do this for gambling because the money will go away from you very quickly if you just start to take pot shots and trades so you have to use your head focus on why you're doing this and decide what you want and like i said I, i'm ser totally serious about this where i would say okay it's may 15th <laughs> four and a half months into the year how much money do you want to make in the market in 2019 <clears throat> now let's just say you haven't started trading yet so four and a half months left in the year, you got plenty of time. And what if you are trading already this year and you've been losing money in the first four and a half months of the year? Well, you gotta let that go. You have to stop thinking, well, I gotta make it up, I gotta make it back, I gotta make it back, I gotta make it back, no. You start from the moment, if you come to me and you learn from me and you take my class, that is day one for you. And you move forward with whatever your goal is. You say, I want to make 100 grand this year. It's May 15th. Between now and December 31st, that's what I want to make, Melissa. I say, okay, fine. Let's break it down. Let's break down the number of months. Let's break it down by week. Let's break it down by day. Let's break it down by the number of trades. You see how you do it. And that is how you tackle a goal. And I think so many people get caught up where they lose sight of what the real goal is or they don't even think about what that is or even imagine or even know what it is. And a lot of people are chasing their tail in the market. People are chasing their tail, not just back if you've been losing since January doing some system or strategy that doesn't work. People will think about losses that they had in 2018, 2017, 2016. I have talked to people that have been trading in the market for longer than I'm alive that talk about losses. They talk about all the losses they've ever had in the market since day one. That is insane. And if you're trying to make it back, you're going to be trying to make it back forever, okay? You have to say, today is the first day of the rest of my trading life. And that attitude, and getting back to one, two, three, three, one is the strategy, two is a mentor, which is me, and three is motivation. That's three, that's where the hard work comes because a lot of people have a hard time letting go, letting go of the past. The past is over and there's nothing you can do about it and you're never gonna be able to go back to tomorrow or any stupid trades that you did before. Just move forward with new goals and new aspirations, be motivated to do it and be motivated to achieve those results that you really want. But part of that is not thinking about the past. Okay, any questions? Very good. So I have a system. It's a Golden Gap 26-point rating system. The system tells you what stock to look for each day. And again, how long does it take to learn it? I teach my class at a weekend. The class for May is this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. You can learn the class in two days. You learn the system in two days and you can start trading. It doesn't have to take that long. You just got to know what to look for. And again, we're focused on the morning trading. It's rare that I will ever keep the room the trading room open till noon sometimes, but I don't ever have the room open till four o'clock. We're usually in and out in the first half an hour, an hour. And so I'm looking for a setup to happen by 10 a.m. So like if I don't get one, then we won't do anything. You gotta have the good ones. I'm looking for a good risk to reward. We don't do penny stocks. We don't do those 
stocks that aren't worth anything. We don't do stocks that don't have any volume. I'm looking for something that can have a big move on the day. High probability of the directional bias for the entire trading day, okay? And stocks that you know of, companies that you know of, things that you would recognize, okay? That's important too. Now, I always get this question about the share size. It's really a function of how much you risk. We're typically trying to get a buck move in something. So for example, if you have 2,000 shares of something and you short it at $10 and it drops down to nine, what would you make if it moved a dollar and at 2,000 shares you'd make two grand? But every time we take a trade, the difference between the entry and the stop may vary. So your, your share quantity will vary depending on the entry and the stop. And you don't know that until you get the gap, rate the gap and the stock sets up. So this is all happening in live time, which is one of the reasons why it, it, it is beneficial to be in the trading room, okay? So the consistency comes not in your share size per se, but in their dollars and cents risk. But obviously, the more you risk, the more you can make, okay? And that's common sense. But you can't risk a lot of money unless, guess what? You know what you're doing. And that's common sense too. But there's always people out there that risk money and they don't know what they're doing. Now, that's something that I never did. I honestly never risked a lot of money at the beginning. I was, you know, started out very early on risking $150 a trade. And this was at the beginning and I was trying to create my own system and doing it, doing it. Because I found that $150 bucks if I lost wasn't horrible. And if I had a decent trade, I could make three, four hundred bucks. And when you think about it, four hundred dollars a day adds up, okay? So you do not have to risk an advanced, what I call an advanced trader risk, which is really anything over a thousand dollars. If you can afford to and you feel confident in that, you can. <coughs> Any questions here? All right. Anyways, it's a process. It's a process. You get up in the morning and then I go through my checklist. So I see the gaps in the pre-market and I go through boom, boom, boom. And I rate it using my system to determine if that's the stock I want to watch today. Today we did Teva and I'll go over that trade in a minute. Now this was again the SPY. This was another trade back from again Monday. This is the bar from Monday. This is a daily chart. I don't want to show you here an example before we get into the day trades, an option trade. Now you can day trade options. The difference is it's just a different way to do the trade. This is a short, essentially you're buying a put. And I called the puts, now this was last week I called this trade, but it was through through last Friday, 285 expiring 510. So this was a good trade. I'm gonna go back and show you. It was Tuesday the 7th here. I called the trade and again, you could have taken it and got immediately out or you could have taken it and stayed into the last day here or the Thursday or the Friday, which was the 10th. It went poop and it just dropped like that. So 285, I'm going to show you that number was here. But you can make money even if it doesn't go through the strike. How? If it's going in your direction. So if you took the train here on the Tuesday, it was falling, falling, falling. You would have made money even if you get out the first day. Follow me? But if you held it, you got paid a little bit more. Now, this is an option trade, but I'm showing you this because you can day trade options. And the reason people sometimes do options as day trades is because you don't have to worry about, uh, about having the margin. So you could take a trade on Monday, get out on a Tuesday. And so you don't have to worry about having the cost of the stock for the $285. And the other nice thing is, too, you can take bigger positions because of the cost. So the cost on this, $0.80. Cents. 80 contracts with the risk of this is an advanced risk six thousand four hundred dollars sold 330 beautiful profit now you had to risk sixty four hundred dollars to make 20 grand in this but the return on investment was 313 percent this was holding it down through the drop not getting out the first day but even if you got out the first day this was a one turnaround so usually when i'm doing a trade say for example if i'm Risking a thousand, I'm looking to make a thousand. I'm risking two thousand, I'm looking to make two thousand. So I'm usually looking to turn it over once, okay? But some of these trades, some of the day trades, some of the options trades, some of the day trades we do, even in the morning, the first hour, will turn over more than that because some we've had a lot of volatility. Uh, this market, if we go back here, this is the chart through Monday. The market has been had a, an incredible amount of volatility and you really had to know how to play it right to profit with this okay anyways i want to show you the beginner risk 640 bucks 
if you had bought eight contracts, risked six hundred and forty dollars, you could have made two grand. That is fantastic, people. Again, one trade. You could have done this one trade and made two thousand dollars last week, and you didn't have to do anything else. Many people are losing that are trading. To make two thousand dollars in a week to them is a dream. Okay. $2,000 times four, two grand a week means you're making eight grand a month. This is one trade, one, okay? People think it is about multiple, 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 multiple. I mean, while I'm looking for a new trade each morning daily, I don't go ballistic doing, you know, 10, 15, 25 trades a day. Many day traders are in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out of stuff all the time. You can make your whole week with one or two great trades. And one trade a day is certainly enough. Sometimes we do two if we're busy. It's earnings season right now. It's a busy period, but it's not necessary. It is about the strategy. It is about the consistency. It is about hitting it and getting a good one right at the right price, right at the right time. Watching it, taking it, following it, rating the gap, looking at the chart, reading the price action, seeing that this is going to drop and it did drop. It was a great read of the market. Any questions here from anyone so far? Again, I see some new faces here. I mean, I don't know what people know, what they don't. Those of you that have never been to my webinar before, don't be afraid to ask questions. I don't know everyone's experience level. You know, you gotta ask me. So I gave these two examples here so you could see the difference between advanced and beginner. Now, this here again is the market, the daily chart. Here was a short that we did back on the 13th, which was Monday. This was an equity trade, a day trade. So there was the put from last week, then this was the day trade here from the Monday. Market fell, boom, short it, get the drop. You could have shorted it here and held it even more. You could have shorted it here and got the drop here. These red bars are signifying the sell-off, the weakness. So again, how do you make money in the market? You take it at the right place into momentum into the momentum the momentum here is down you wouldn't want to go long this you would want to be shorting this you see here how some people were buying this those people lost the market fell off a planet on monday okay so this was the day trade entry was 282.90 shares 2000 risk 1800 then there was two exits first drop we had lowered the stop second drop and then it actually was a very good move with the follow through then with this too, but you could have split it up or you could have just held the whole thing down. And actually, if you held the whole thing, you could have got almost three bucks out of it, but decided to piecemeal it here. Very, very, very nice move. This is an advanced risk. So $4,400 on one trade, risk was 1,800. And this was very conservative to piecemeal out. Now, if you had a beginner risk, risk is 180. Again, 200 shares. That's it. You risk 180 bucks. You could have made $440. Again, $400 a day times five is two grand a week. $400 a day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay? So you see how you can put together, you know, uh, you know a profitable week and then it becomes a profitable month. Okay? Any questions? Everyone's so quiet here tonight. Anyways, this was another trade. This was Monday too, which is funny because we did Tiva today as well. Tiva dropped. We shorted it. Boom. Could have got out. Rallied back. Could have taken more. Could have held it. Boom. Here's the move. So this was a beautiful move in Tiva. And actually, here you see the time of the day. So between 9.30 and 10, take it, get out. Now, if you held this Tiva, this actually continued further. This ended up going all day. Broke 12. I think the low of the day was 11.90. Actually, here it is. So in this case here... We got out early, but if you held it, you, you really got paid. And again, that was Monday market was falling too. So this, again, advanced risk, 2,900. Either way, advanced risk, 1,960. You see here, you short it. This isn't like some monster move. Now, again, this ended up going to 1,190, which is crazy, but this went another 70 cents. But anyways, one quick boom, out, profit, 1,820. So you risk this and you're trying to make it. And again, if you want to get out quick, you're in, you're out. You're in, you're out. See what it did. I'm going to go back to this one minute chart. You're in, you're out. You're in, you're out. You're in, you're out. 
That's what day trading is. You chunk it, chunk it, chunk it, chunk it. And again, once my goal is made, I don't do anything else. Now, there are people I know in the room that like to take lots and lots of trades, even after I close out the room, but I don't, I don't think people should do that. <laughs> now, this here was a smaller risk. Beginner, 196, 182 bucks. Even $200 a day is $1,000 a week, and that's four grand a month, and that's $48,000 a year, and most people are not making that day trading. Most people are losing. It is about focus. You take it, get out. Take it, get out. What stock are you watching? Rate the gap. Look at it. Watch the entry. See what it's doing. Read the price action. I'm going to go back to this here. Gary is saying this is great. That's why I have the beginner risk here. So let's answer Gary's question. How many, how much buying power, Gary, would you have needed? Galahad can answer this. He is a beginner risk. How much buying power would have been required to take 700 shares of Tiva? Galahad? Gary, you can answer that too. And this is for anybody that's new and doesn't know. You take the amount of share quantity times the stock price, which in this case here for the point was 1282, equals... This back here was, this was an advanced. I'm giving you two choices. Some people do have the money to risk this, Gary. Again, I've been doing this for 11 years. But if you're brand, brand, brand new, you know, you may not. But you will get to that point as you build your account up with the profits. But anyways, getting back to this, Galahad, did you want to answer the question? Are you there, Galahad? So 700 times the cost of the stock. That's how you figure it out. Am I talking to myself or is anyone there? And then there's something called margin. So this is a good, this is actually a good question here because I'm going to give you a margin lesson because since somebody brought it up. And I get this question all the time because sometimes people think you need to have hundreds of thousands of dollars to trade. You don't. Galahad, how much buying power do you need to short Tiva 700 shares at a stock price with a short price of 1282? Galahad's going to answer it because he's a beginner. Galahad says 89.74. Let's see if he's right. I'm going to take my calculator out. 12.82 times 700 is 89.74. So Galahad's right. Now, guess what? That is the, that is the buying power. So that's the buying power. That's not the cash so guess what? If you have an, a, a brokerage account, you use something called margin. Now, you say, well, what do you mean? There's two types of trading accounts, retail and prop. Retail requires you to have 25000 to trade at all, and your margin will be four to one. Prop, okay, is different. Most prop places give 10 to one. So, and with an opening balance of 2,500. So you would have 10 to one times 2,500, 25,000 in buying power with a 2,500 account at a prop place. So in that case, you would have been able to take this trade. So with $2,500 in a prop account, you would have used up almost 9,000 of the 25,000 in buying power and you would have been able to take this trade and you would have had $2,500 in real cash you would have risked $196 in real cash. You would have risked approximately $8,900 in the buying power margin, and you would have exited the trade on the day in a few minutes before 10 o'clock with $182 profit. And then you would have closed out your account, and minus commissions, you would have had, you know, a little bit under $2,700 when you woke up in the morning. You see, and that's how it works. So you, when you are trading, when you're day trading, you don't need the exact cost of the stock. You don't need hundreds of thousands of dollars. Every trader, big trader, small traders use margin. Now, the, t the place that you're trading is what I'm saying. It could be a retail broker. It could be a prop broker. And that margin will be dependent on the cash that you have and their own requirements. You can trade wherever you want. You can go to any broker that you please. Okay? That's totally, totally up to you. So that's good questions. Now, I'm showing you this here. I'm just showing you the chart of this here. This today, we shorted the market and it stopped. So we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about stops. So when I take a trade, I say, boom, here's the entry, here's the stop. Now, why do I put the stop in? Well, the stop protects me. It's like the insurance. 
Say I risk $1,800 in a trade. I don't want to lose $5,000. If I risk $1,800, then that's all I want to lose, and that's it. So that's like the insurance, okay? So I use hard stops, and that's what I teach people to do as well. So anyways, this didn't work. So this was a loser today, okay? So what happened? This dropped, fell, rallied back, dropped, failed, stopped out. Now, I want to show you this here. There was news that came out. The market rally flipped around. So you see here, if we hadn't gotten stopped, it, this $1,800 loss would have been way bigger. So when you trade, it is about risk to reward. And that's why stops are important. Because one loss on the day, like say you had taken a beginner risk of 180 bucks, well, you can come back and make money on the day from 180 bucks. But if you hadn't put in a stop in, you would have had a very bad day, okay? So I always use stops. Once the trade stops out, then that's it. And we look at something else. I know a lot of traders are anti-stop. Well, I'm gonna give it a little bit of room, little bit room, but part of risk to reward is also condensing your losses because not every trade works. Not every trade works at all. The idea of making money in the market is not that 100% of the trades that I call are gonna work. No, some lose. The idea of making money in the market is having more trades win than lose. And that is how you make money in the market. But that's why I condense my risk by using stops. What's the criteria? I rate the gap. That's what I do. That's the strategy. That's the system. That's the two-day class and the weekend. Every time I get up in the morning, I'm looking for the gap and I rate the gap. The market gap down this morning. Stock closed here the night before at 4 o'clock. Boom. Gap down here and open here at 9.30 in the morning. This was 4 o'clock yesterday. This is 9.30. The market gap down this morning. Gap down and rallied and flipped, but we shorted it here and got stopped. The criteria was my rating system. That's what you learned from me. In this case here, it's, it flipped, and that's what we got stopped in the trade. I didn't go back after it after we saw this movement here and then we ended up doing a second trade in Tiva. So actually Tiva was two plays this week. Monday and Wednesday was Tiva, which is unusual, but Tiva got down again today too. And I squished this here so you could see how this followed through later in the day if you wanted to hold it. But here's 930, here's the open. We shorted Tiva and then we got the drop. So this was between 9.30, you could have got out of 10, you could have held it into 10.30 into the first hour. But I show this here, this trying to go lower, and actually this was very weak, but the market being very, very strong, Tiva didn't follow all the way through. This was a beautiful move though, why? The stop was here, it was a very tiny, tiny stop. This was a 25 cent stop in Tiva. So we did the Tiva, got stopped in the SPY, Tiva was a nice winner. Even though it was only 24 cents, it was a really nice move. And there was two different ads in this if you wanted to do them. Again, Gary's going to say 16,000 shares, but you don't have to take 16,000 shares. You don't have to take that at all. You take what you can afford. This is an advanced trade. But either way, 24% cents with a 25 cent risk, you would have come back on the day and made money from the loss in the SPY. And that's what we did. So I'm showing you two examples here because it's important because you need to know that stops is vital to your success. And again, if you're following me in the room, I'm gonna tell you where to put the stop and you gotta kill it. You have to have the stop there or you have to kill it at that number because you will have days like today where the first trade is loses and the second trade is a winner and you wanna make sure that you end the day positive. So how do you do that? Condense your losses. If something is not gonna follow through and fail, you wanna be out of it. You kill it and you put the stop in and you're out. And then some days we look for other trades. In this case here, Tiva, I did have this in my watch list earlier. I saw this this morning, this was gapping down too. Here's the close from last night. Here's the close in Tiva, why did we watch it? It gapped down, rated well, here's the open, boom, sell off. So this was a short, so two, today two shorts. Why not buy based on technicals? Why not buy the market? The market was not a buy today. I know it rallied, but the market gapped down today. I short gap downs if they rate per my system and I go long gap ups if they rate per my system. I would never go long a gap down under any circumstances. That's a no-no. The fact that the market rallied today means absolutely nothing at all. So again, strict with the system. There's nothing technically in the chart that would have told you to go long the market today. Now you might be thinking news, but that's not technicals. The news was came out do, 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 whatever, auto tariffs or whatever the things were. I don't trade news, 
okay? Market is still in an uptrend, that's true. If you're in the market long term for your retirement accounts, the market's still holding the uptrend, but we're day trading. We have to look for a set criteria every day to make money and a move, and I'm looking for it to be quick. And I'm not trading news, and I'm not trading fundamentals, okay? You couldn't be successful trading news anyways. Trump tweets something good, the market rallies. Trump tweets something bad, the market falls. Who can predict? That would be insane. And by the way, that's what many people have been contending with in the last two weeks. You know, the last two weeks, if you haven't gotten these, these gaps right in the market, you've been getting killed. Well, we did take a loss in this here, but literally almost every trade that I've called in the last two weeks has worked. Day trades, options, everything. I think two trades have failed. And I've called, I don't know, I've called a lot of options trades and a lot of day trades. In two weeks since May 1st, since all this tariff stuff has come out, I think there's been two losing trades. And lot, every other one is a winner. And some were big winners like the market. So you can't trade the news. You wouldn't be able to predict what Trump's going to tweet anyways. <clears throat> so tomorrow morning, we'll rate the gap. We'll see where we are. See if the market follows through. Maybe the market gaps up. But you can't tell that right now. You can't tell anything to the pre-market. Oh, no, that's fine. These are good questions. We can look at the market tonight. Once I'm through this webinar here, when I'm a couple more slides, we'll, I'll pull the market up. I highly doubt the market's going to do anything. Oh, you know what? Cisco. Now, let's look at it because I, I forgot about Cisco. I am curious. Here, hold on. Cisco at earnings tonight. Let's, let's bring it up. It's up. Well, now you're going to see this live. There it is. So this is a stock that, this is a stock. Now, I'm not going to rate this now because it's 510. It's too early. This could be different tomorrow morning. But Cisco is up. There's a chart of Cisco. So this is a gap up. I don't know what this is going to do, but this is rateable. So I'll rate it. I'll rate it in the morning. I don't know where it's going to be. It could be higher. It could be lower. So it's way too early to tell. Market trades at night and market trades in the morning. So the market's probably up a little bit with Cisco. Let's just see. But then again, tomorrow is Walmart. So that could, that could affect the market too. I have to look at what time Walmart is out. Let's see where the market is here. 183.09. Oh, that's actually, it's not up that much. Looks like we closed at 183.03 and we're at 183.09. So that's not really that big of a deal. We're up six cents. Of course, this says 183.27. So it looks like, looks like we're up a couple of little bit, a few pennies here in the market with Cisco being up tonight. But tomorrow is Walmart. So Walmart will gap tomorrow. I don't know where, but it has earnings in the pre-market. So this will be a watch. Now, will this affect the market? Maybe. Let's just take a look at where Walmart closed today here. So Walmart is definitely a strong, strong stock. I have no idea, again, what this does tomorrow. Walmart has been trying to get up and above and beyond and through that area and has been struggling for almost a year. I mean, literally, seriously. Huge gap up here in Walmart back last summer. And it just could never get any momentum going. Didn't really fall, didn't really rally. Look at this poor Walmart. Walmart needs to do something big tomorrow, whether it's up or down. Walmart needs to get off its butt and start trading. This has been trading in a range almost a year. Look at that. I haven't looked at this chart in a while. So I'll be watching this tomorrow. Um, getting back to what I was saying. Okay, so that's that. So I get up in the morning, I look for the gaps, and I rate them. And then I'm focused on making money once the stock's set up, and we look for the setups. I'm never getting anything in the pre-market. I don't trade at night. I don't trade the push market. I do not trade the pre-market. I'm getting ready. I go through everything. How much you want to risk? What's the gap rating? What am I looking for? What's the numbers? What's the market doing? Da -da 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 -da. And that's what I'm looking at. And I usually like to look at a couple of things, two or three, in case one doesn't set up or in case we take one and it stops, like today. So usually, if you look at, I have all the year-to-date numbers on the in the video that Kathy sent out. It's on the YouTube. I will usually stop if I take one trade and I'm up. Like, I'm not like trade, 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 trade. Like, I'll take one trade, and if I make my goal for the day, I'm done. But, like, if I take a trade and it doesn't work like the SPY, and we are down, and I'm down one R, and I said, well, and if there's something else good, I'll look for it. And there was today. There was a diva. Because you can very easily make money taking two things. But I prefer, I prefer to do one thing. And for the most part, we do. 
Anyways, why do people find day trading so hard? They're just not focused. They're just not. Like, I think the market, actually, that's a good example today. So my bias in the morning today was the market would fall. Now, it didn't, but once I got stopped on the short, I didn't flip around and go long it. That would be a lack of clarity. That would be a lack of focus. You can't have 100% conviction something is higher and lower. That's false. You need 100% conviction. I have 100% conviction either works or it doesn't. We do take stops, but many of the trades that, that we take work. But that is because I have the conviction. I hold the conviction. That helps me trade. It helps me take risk. If you want to get to the point where you're taking 7,000 shares, you better darn well have conviction, and you better know what you're doing. Even if you have the money, that doesn't guarantee a thing at all. People say, well, if I had more money, I could make a lot of money. Not necessarily. You still have to know what to do. You can, t you can have 100 grand in a trading account and lose it all. So that, that means nothing. Someone could have two grand a trading account and turn it into a hundred. All right? So it has to do with the knowledge. The knowledge is key. The system is key. The knowledge and the conviction. Okay? Anyways, I look to go in and just take money out. It's not investing. And you need to know that a lot of people that have some have problems, I think, with, mentally when they're looking at charts, I mean, this isn't long-term investing. You're in and out, in and out. I like that. It's fun. I, I The faster the money comes, the better to me. Okay? But fast is fast. Sometimes it's really, really quick. But if you're looking to do this again for a living or career, set your goal. If you need to make $250,000 a year to support yourself and your family, it's roughly $21,000 a month, a little bit less. So how are you going to – You can't, oh, maybe you're like, oh, my God, that's – how am I going to get that? Well, chunk it out when you break it down. Okay, you're like, all right, 5,200 a week. Then, yeah, then you see it. And this is also why you have to take more good trades than bad trades because you can have a lost trade like today in the SPY and still make money in the week. You could have today even if you, if you didn't do the second trade. But obviously, I called it. It worked. It was a good trade in Tiva. So that's an average of 1000 bucks a day. That's totally doable. Okay? And to hit those kind of numbers, you're going to be able to risk – you need to be able to risk $1,000 per trade. That's where you want to be because we're turning it over the one amount of we're risking. Now, if you are not familiar with margin accounts, I suggest you call a broker, discuss it, meet down, sit with them in person, read about it online. But all these trades are that, except for that one put in the spy, are done with margin. So you, again, you don't need to have 500 grand in account or even 50 grand in account to take these trades with the size. It's margin. 2,500 to open an account with a prop place, and for an options account, you need a minimum of $2,000. And that's not a margin account, but you need a minimum of 2,000. And you could have done that put. You could have done that 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 trade that I called in the spy last week. Again. You could have risked six hundred forty dollars, and you could have made two grand, and you could have just done that with a simple options account with two thousand minimum. Okay, so it is really about finding the quality gap for me. I'm looking for a quality gap. So it's share size, share size to make a living. You're looking in it, and you're saying, "All right, well, if I take a thousand shares, it can make a buck. That's a thousand dollars. Two thousand fifty cent move. Okay." A thousand. Four thousand twenty five cents. I mean, twenty five cents was fine today in Tiva because that was a snail, it was a cheap stock, but most of the stocks that we're trading were making fifty, seventy five cents a dollar. Some were making three buck moves. Again, they may be they may be a little bit more expensive than Tiva, but it goes it's proportionate to the stock price and how it normally moves in the day. Obviously Apple is more expensive than Tiva, but has way bigger moves, way bigger moves than something than Tiva ever would. Okay, but how do you achieve your goals? You chunk it out, chunk it, chunk it, chunk it. I cannot tell you how important that is. All right. So I I've been mentoring people in the options newsletter. There's no prerequisites for that. You can sign up for that. That's five grand a year. You get all the options trades. If you want to join the day trading room, you must do the class. And as I said, the class is this weekend. But I've had people have great success with the options letter, make money, and then they end up doing the class after they're on the letter, making money with the letter. But you're better off understanding it first, which is why the active day trades that are fast, where you're in and out in an hour, you must do the class to take them because they're so quick. Whereas the options, you're taking them and you have time to think and hold them for a couple hours or overnight for a couple of days. But I usually call them out within a two-week period, some a week, some a couple days. Last week, that was a quick one. I knew the market was going to make them move between Tuesday and Friday, and it did. Okay. So does anyone have any questions about... 
anything. Anything at all. It's really a fun career if you want to do it. You have to take it seriously, though. And, and, and I'm amazed at how many people don't. Um, it is definitely possible to do this. It is possible to make money. I have had people do so well this year. Now, I, I have been on my game. I've been focused personally, and I've been doing this a long time now. I mean, I'm calling good trade after good trade after good trade. Obviously, not every trade that I call works, but I have been on fire this year with my calls. I mean, some people have just been making so much money taking my calls, but you do have to listen to me. You do have to... You know, do what I'm saying. What I'm saying, put the stop in, like with the spy. You got to put the stop in. What I'm saying, you know, this is the target. Boom, boom, boom. It's really not about being a pigger. You will get big trains, like that's fine train last week. But some days you'll make 600 bucks, 500 bucks, 700 bucks. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Again, each day is like its own thing for you. And if you're focused enough to look at today, People get so overwhelmed. They say, oh, my God, I, I, how am I ever going to make six figures a year? This is like, how am I going to do it? I need all this money. I need 100 grand. It's people become so overwhelmed. Start with a $2,500 account, and you'll be amazed if you focus each day within your own universe from 930 to 10. How And stop thinking about, oh, my God, it's a hovel year. I have to. If you just live within today. 200, 300, 400, 500, 250. If you just focus on right now, you'll be amazed at how much progress you'll make and that $2,500 account will be 10 grand before you know it. But people are so, get so overwhelmed. And then also, I was talking about this earlier, people try to make it back, make it back, make it back. Stupid stuff that they did in the past. Classes where they didn't learn anything. Uh, trades where they took trades and lost. Okay. And, and the best advice I can tell you for that is let it go. So there are challenges, and with the, but most of them are emotional challenges for people with trading, okay? They're, the benefits, though, far exceed any challenges. I know that people are capable of doing it. I'm teaching people to do it, and people are having great success with me this year. So I'm proud of myself for teaching people. I'm proud of myself for the great trades I've been calling. It's really ultimately about financial freedom if you want to do this for a career. Again, if you like your job and you want to do it on the side, it's still extra money, I don't know anyone that wouldn't want an extra thousand dollars a week, even if you like what you do. You don't have to spend a lot of time doing this. That's one of the reasons why people like my system. It's in and out, in and out quickly, and you can do it from home or your office. So in the class, I teach a 26-point professional bearish gap system. The purpose of the system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using a checklist. The checklist tells you what to trade when and in what direction. It's a 26-point checklist, and someone asked earlier, that's how I know. That's how I know Tiva was good. That's how I know what tomorrow morning, whatever I'm going to choose, I don't know what. Maybe it'll be Walmart, okay? Maybe it'll be Cisco, but that would be a long, all right? So either way, I rate the stock, and then I choose a directional bias based on the rating and go for it, okay? So it's all about the rating system for me. And again, I teach it in the class. So the class is called the Golden Gap Course. Class dates are May 18th and 19th this weekend, 9 to 5. Class tuition is $59.99 US dollars. Class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. I would definitely sign up by no later than Friday, I'd say noon, if you want to get in. If you would like a trial to the trading room, you can email me if you want to be in the room. Today is Wednesday. It'll only be two more days, Thursday, Friday. Deadline again for the class is Friday. And I have the combo class for the trends course, which is next Monday, the 20th. So that class is normally $1,000, class tuition. If you pay for both classes, you save 500 bucks. So that's long-term trends. And then the gap class, you learn the system for the gap strategy on the weekend. And then I'm offering the options letter free uh, for anybody that signs up for this class by Friday, which through the end of the year, which is huge. So you do all the options, you get all the options trades at the end of the year, learn the system Saturday and Sunday. And then if you want to actively day trade and join the room, you would be eligible to do that after the class. And if you just want to do the letter, you know, you can email me. That's that's five grand a year. But honestly, I, I cannot stress the importance of education. I paid for a class when I started out too. In fact, I paid more for the class 11 years ago than I'm charging right now, which is hilarious because it was 11 years ago. And I didn't learn how to make money, but, you know, I didn't know anything at the time. And I did learn technical analysis. You know, the foundation, that foundation for me was, was very, very important to know 
that that price action matters and 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 it does and in this type of environment social media twitter news all the way the world's interconnected i just can't tell you how important it is it's it's so much less stressful when you're trading when you have someone that you know knows what they're doing it makes it less stressful for you when you follow someone okay it is the bigger picture even if you can only start out with a small amount of risk two hundred dollars a trade or 180 bucks that is okay you will get to the point that you want to be i don't i don't know how long it's going to take you i know if you listen and you do all the right things though you will get there okay the problem is that everybody wants everything yesterday that's not realistic People, people make all kinds of crazy claims. You can open up an account with $500 and make 100 grand in a month. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. That's totally unrealistic, and you're going to lose the $500, and then you'll think you can do it again and lose more. You have to take one day at a time, $200 a day, build it up to the point that you can risk $2,000 a day. You will get there so much faster than you think if you just take one day at a time. And I'm speaking from experience. Okay, because I've been doing this a long, long, long time. Any questions from anyone? Or Kathy's been quiet here. We only have a few more minutes. Any questions from anyone? Anyways, I know there's a lot of places you can go to. You know, if you want a referral, you can always ask me. You can talk to a student. But people are doing really great this year. I'm, I'm proud of everyone. And, and uh, I actually think everyone in the room is doing well. So that's, that speaks a lot. Even though there's many classes out there and not all are good, it doesn't mean that all are bad. And I think that's where people have to kind of use their intuition a little bit. So if anything I said today resonates with you, you have to think about it. Because unless you're going to take the time and the money in several years to create your own system, you have to learn a system from someone to do it. It's just not as easy as you think to create your own system. It took me years. But you may have taken many classes in the past and not gotten your money's worth out of them or think that you didn't or didn't learn how to make money or trade. There's many classes that that is the case. It's not mine, but I understand where people are coming from. The reality is, though, that you only have two choices. Find someone good, pay them and learn what they know, or go create your own system. And I can tell you from the process that I went through back in 2008, creating my own system was a very difficult process because while you're doing it, it costs money. And also, you don't know if you're ever going to figure it out. And it did take me uh, several years to figure out what I know. And I, and I haven't really changed anything about the system since. So that says a lot as well because the market conditions have, have changed. Anyways, think about your goals for the year. Think about it tonight, right now. And if you're trading, you should not be trading every day without a system. You should not be trading if you don't know your goals. And if you've been losing since the beginning of the year, uh, nine times out of ten, it's probably your system. While there are some people that have emotional issues that definitely prevent them from doing well, most of the time, it's really the system that people do. It's the way that they're trading that simply does not work. Okay, It's one of the reasons the market has been so, so tricky. So any questions from anyone? Any questions at all? Good group here today. Couple good questions. Again, if you'd like a trial of the trading room, email me. It's melissa at thestockswish.com or email info at thestockswish.com. If you want a trial for Thursday and Friday, I'm hoping that we get a good one in Walmart. That's what I'm hoping. Cisco, yeah, I'm not jumping up and down about that right now. I might change my mind in the morning, but I'm hoping Walmart is, a, is the one, but I don't know what it does. It doesn't report until the morning. Okay? Any questions from anyone at all? Thanks so much for coming. Again, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you have any questions, if you want a trial for this week, if you have questions about the class, I'm around. Thank you. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Okay, I just want to make sure that that typing wasn't a question before we conclude today. Um, I, uh, Rick, I think, I mean, Melissa will want to, yeah, she usually, yeah, email her. She usually will make that.